All right. Nice fire. Still going good. And nice algebra problem. So let's look at it, okay? Determine, question 24. Determine the equation of a line or for a line that is perpendicular to y equals 2 thirds x plus 5 and passes through the point or ordered pair for negative 1. Express the final answer in slope intercept form. Okay, now, the way I like to do that problem, okay, this line, y equals 2 thirds x plus 5. You are comparing our line to that line only in terms of slope. So the 5 really has no bearing on our problem. But the 2 thirds does. Our line is perpendicular to this line. So that means our slope of the line we're looking for is the opposite reciprocal of 2 thirds, which would be negative 3 halves. So the way I got that, this line has slope 2 thirds. Our line is perpendicular to it. Therefore, our line has slope negative 3 halves. Now, I also need to know B, which is the y-intercept, and I don't know it was not given to me. But let me show you a really clever way to get it. You know that y equals mx plus b is the slope-intercept form of a line. In this particular problem, I know that m is negative 3 halves. So I know that my line, the equation of this line, looks like this. But I don't know b. So a really cool way to get it if I take this ordered pair, which is one of many points on the line, I know that it satisfies the equation of my line, which means if I put a negative 1 in for y, substitute it in, and I put a 4 in for x, it makes this equation true. Well, watch what happens. This is so cool. Negative 1 is equal to, okay, we're multiplying here, so we use the Gazenta rule, right? Remember Gazenta? 2 Gazenta 4 twice, there you go. Negative 3 times 2 is a negative 6. And when I solve that equation for b by adding 6 to both sides, I end up getting b is 5. All right. Now, your teacher may disagree with me, but I'm not a big fan of the point-slope formula. I'm a fan of y equals mx plus b. That's what I'm a fan of. So I had m. I just found b. So now to get my final answer to the problem, I write y equals, remember that m was negative 3 halves, so that is what goes in front of the x. And we just found out that B was 5. And we're done.